Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Today we're working on Module 3, Lesson 19, and we will be using place value disks to enhance our understanding of remainders. Um, those kind of models can be really helpful in trying to figure out what's going on. And we have a number of problems here in the problem set that talk about other students and their failed reasoning of a problem. So this gives us an opportunity to think through our own mathematical reasoning and critique the reasoning of others. And that's what we'll be doing in some of our problems here. Tonight, um, because these are fairly long problems, I'm only going to be doing one problem, which there's not that many of them to do. So I'm going to do problem number two. So let's take a look at problem number two. And we'll read first. Francine says that 86 divided by 4 is 20 with a remainder of 6. She reasons this is correct because 4 times 20 plus 6 equals 86. What mistake has Francine made? Explain how she can correct her work. Well, I think the easiest way to try to do this problem and figure out what Francine has done is to just do the problem for ourselves and then see where maybe Francine uh, had her reasoning go astray. So let's take, let's see, let me grab my blue pen and let's go ahead and do place value disks to express 86 because that's the whole number that we're trying to divide here, 86. So I'm going to make a quick little chart. You know what? I'm going to make that a little thicker. Let me grab the pen again. I'll make a little thicker line. Those are the ones, and those are the tens. And let's see, 86, let's see, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens, and 6 ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones. And let's see, how many parts are we going to divide that into? Uh, we're going to divide that into four parts. So here on our place value disk, I'm going to write four, one, two, three, four groups down here. All right. Well, let's get to it. We always divide our largest units first. So let's start by looking at the tens over here. We're going to divide those eight tens into four groups. So I think that means we're going to put one in each of the groups, and that'll take care of one, two, three, four of these. And then we still have four of them left, one, two, three, four. So we can still divide another, those four, into those four categories as well. So let me do that as well. One, two, three, four. Let's cross out one, two, three, four. So it looks to me like we have now divided all eight of our tens into our four groups. And sure enough, we have two tens in each group. Now, if I were working on this problem, I would then move to the smaller units, which is the ones, right? We still have six ones left over. And aha, I think I see the mistake that Francine already made, right? She got went ahead and did the division of the eight tens, and she got those all split up in these four groups but she never moved along to the ones. Let's see if that reasoning is correct. Let's start working on the ones here. So let's see, we can take four of the ones and draw and drop them into one, two, three, four, one into each group. So let me cross those out. That's one, two, three, four of the ones are removed. And it looks to me like we have two ones that are left over as a remainder. So let's see, let's look at one of our groups to see what our, our quotient is gonna be. In each of our groups, we have two tens and one one, so that looks to me like in each group we have two tens and one one, or 21. So it looks to me like our quotient is 21. And then let's see, what is our remainder? How many items do we have left over? Well, we had, after we took out, if we took four of the six ones, we had one, two ones left over. So I think our remainder is two. So whereas Francine had said that she thought that the result was uh, 20 with a remainder of six, Actually, we could have divided up those sixes and made the quotient 21 with a remainder of four. So since this asks us to explain how we, she can correct her work, uh, I would say she can divide four of the six ones, making the quotient... 21 and the remainder 2. And that'll do it. Thanks for joining me for an episode of this Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time.